that you all joined to our webinar. Yes, and uh, today we will speak about how we can uh, reduce uh, data entry errors uh, in accounting. And also we will speak uh, about some uh, relevant uh, topics. Yes, and uh, first of all, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Kirill. Uh, and uh, actually I'm Senior Business Development Manager at Antera Global. So I'm uh, really experienced in uh, accounting and bookkeeping industry. So I uh, have worked with uh, more than 500 customers around the world in different uh, regions. Yes, and uh, I guess they uh, allow me, especially their families, because uh, I saved uh, 10,000 hours uh, for them. And uh, uh, speaking about our company, so uh, we are Entera. So Intera is a global IT company uh, with uh, different offices in different uh, regions uh, around the world. Yes, and we are a software developer and uh, we focus on uh, accounting industry especially. Yes, and uh, our mission is uh, to do accounting and bookkeeping business processes uh, and uh, environment uh, better uh, and safer. And uh, we hope that uh, uh, we uh, will propose the uh, game changing uh, solution to you uh, surely for your uh, business processes, for your uh, accounting and uh, uh, bookkeeping activities. Okay, so let's speak about our agenda today. Um, we will start uh, with challenges, yes, and uh, typical problems. And uh, then I will tell you about our solution. Uh, after that, we will switch to online demo. So you will see how it works in action. Uh, by the way, we will see uh, integration with Tally and also I will be happy to uh, present you some updates. Yes, we, which we uh, developed uh, exactly by this webinar. And uh, surely uh, we will discuss uh, pricing. Yes, and in the end I will be happy to answer your questions uh, during Q&A uh, section. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's speak about the uh, challenges and the problems in our industry, yes, in accounting and uh, bookkeeping. Uh, I have to say that uh, we did a comprehensive and huge uh, research, yes, for document processing uh, for uh, companies uh, in India uh, to define which challenges or issues they have uh, for now. And we collected very carefully the feedback from uh, our existing clients and potential clients or partners. So, and you know, I definitely should say that the main headache for uh, bookkeepers is data entry and, uh, and all data entry processes. Yes, and I mean relative activities like data collecting, data storing, and uh, you know, just imagine they work sometimes with 100 or 1000 documents per month uh, from different sources in different formats. And this is uh, the usual reason for uh, delays, for errors or mistakes, uh, because they have shortage of time to do work on time. And uh, uh, also uh, speaking about the, uh, you know, the challenges which is visible from the uh, top management uh, view. Uh, I think the main statement is uh, the busier bookkeeper is, the less clients they can serve. And as a result, more mistake will be made. And uh, once again, you know, we can imagine the situation if uh, we can speed up the process of data entry, each accountant will be uh, able to work with 40 clients instead of 10 clients. Yeah, this is just very approximately, surely very roughly. And uh, as a result, uh, your business will be growing, significantly growing. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, speaking about uh, the main challenges, you know, uh, I would like to say that uh, surely this is uh, number one, there is a number one, yeah? This is time consuming. So, because uh, routine work with data entry takes too much time. Yes, and on average, based on our practice, 
uh, accountant spends uh, at least 45 days per year to process incoming documents, to collect input, validate all data, to ERP or accounting software. Yes, and uh, in result, they do routine work instead of spending time for other business needs. And uh, we know the time is uh, money. And uh, speaking about the uh, second challenge, I think this is uh, inaccuracy, yes, and this is errors, because more than 80% of companies reported about errors uh, in manual handling of documents caused by human factor. Yes, and uh, it could be an error during uh, information input, or sometimes it can be error in original documents. Uh, but anyway, as a result, the team needs time to get deal with it and uh, investigate it. Yes, and once again, we, s we s need to spend extra time. Yes, and uh, time is money. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, speaking about Intera, yes, and what we propose. You know, honestly, I don't think uh, that uh, any accountant or maybe manager uh, would refuse to do document processing faster and more accurately. Yes, and uh, we believe that this is an uh, opportunity to try new technology. Yes, and this is the reason why we uh, propose our solution. And uh, also I can say that uh, Intera was uh, designed especially to solve uh, such problems. Okay, and uh, let's speak about uh, technical side of solution, yes, uh, shortly. Yes, and then I think we will switch to demo. Yes, and I will show you all details uh, in action. Okay, so, uh, first of all, we propose cloud service based on AI and OCR technology for automated data entry, for collecting data and for storing data. On the slide, you can see the diagram with uh, relevant steps. Yes, the first step is about uploading documents from different sources. The second step, uh, Intera captures the data, recognize it, classify each document. Yes, and do uh, multiple validation to check correctness of data. And you know, also it's very important to, to say that Intera is synchronized with your accounting software and provides matching for items, for categories, for type of transactions, for your list of suppliers and so on. And the last step, uh, Intera provides a seamless integration with your accounting software, for example, with your tally. And also we have a uh, out of the box integration, uh, which is uh, ready to work with uh, Zoho, QuickBooks Online, uh, and so on. Okay, so let's speak about the first step. Yes, about uploading data. So uh, it can be done by different ways. For example, email. Uh, you can uh, forward your uh, email with attachment with invoices to email address of Intera, and Intera will take it in work automatically. Uh, also, uh, it can be done uh, by web user interface. Yes, and you can use our web user interface of Intera. Yes, and you can uh, upload a lot of documents at once. Yes, for example, 100 documents at once or more than 100 documents at once. And uh, also, uh, you can work with uh, hard copies. And uh, just imagine the situation. Yes, if you have a lot of hard copies, a lot of paper, so different formats and so on, you just need to take uh, all of this stack of documents, put it in your scanner, scan all of this at once, and uh, then upload this one PDF document to Intera. And Intera will sort it out for you. Uh, and uh, I would like to underline that you don't need to cut each document separately, manually. Yes, uh, you don't need to upload uh, documents one by one. Uh, if you have a lot of documents, just upload to us uh, one PDF, which includes all of your documents. And Intera will work with it, and surely Intera will analyze it and understand that there are a lot of different documents. Yes, and uh, will... Uh, uh, process it as uh, separated documents for you and transfer it to your tally, for example, as separated vouchers, surely. So uh, I guess it will save a lot of your time. Uh, 
but surely if you have some separated documents you can uh, upload it uh, without any problem and you know also it's very important to say that you can uh, upload documents through the smartphone yes you just uh, for example if you need uh, sorry if you uh, have one hard copy yes or a couple of hard copies so you can take your smartphone then uh, you can take a picture send it directly to Intera and uh, Intera will uh, start to work with it very, very easily yes it takes just uh, seconds uh, and uh, maybe one more option if you have some uh, cloud storage like uh, Google Drive Dropbox surely uh, we can uh, connect it yes and automatically collect data from the storage to Intera okay so let's speak about the next step so the second step um Intera captures the data recognize it classif and classify each document so first of all Intera uh, do validation and multiple checks yes Intera will check how each item corresponding with total amount yes and uh, Intera will check the name of suppliers uh, and the many other uh, validations uh, because we focused on accuracy yes and we provide unique recognition accuracy 98 percent and uh, also Intera is synchronized with your accounting software yes and uh, provides matching for items categories type of transactions name of suppliers so when uh, you transfer data to your accounting software you will have absolutely prepared uh, voucher okay so and the uh, last step uh, about integration so uh, as mentioned Intera provides seamless integration yes with your accounting software like uh, Tally, uh, Zoho or QuickBooks and also Intera has our own API and our technical team is always ready to support you if you need to integrate it with uh, any third-party application and uh, please uh, pay your attention that Intera allows not only to transfer data from invoice to uh, accounting software but <laughs> but it's already mentioned by me previously we uh, provide matching yes with your ledgers with type of vouchers with your uh, database of items yes and your list of suppliers uh, you know I think I uh, repeated it a couple of times because it's very unique feature and it's very important and uh, so uh, you will get an absolutely prepared invoice or expense in your tally so and you don't need to modify it manually so this is the main idea okay so um, and uh, just I didn't just conclusion yes speaking about technical side uh, as a result uh, working with Intera you can say goodbye to manual data entry and uh, we believe that this is the main goal of uh, Intera okay uh, couple of words about the documents above all Intera uh, works with invoices different formats of invoices yes any uh, simplified format of invoices um, any uh, tax invoices uh, different it can be a different computerized uh, invoices so uh, um, it can be scanned documents yes in PDF format it can be uh, just image yes or picture so a lot of different options also Inter works with uh, purchase orders and receipts uh, quotations uh, and uh, also in next update uh, we uh, already included bank statements so uh, it's coming soon and uh, I think maybe next month it will be available uh, for our users okay so also let's speak about another uh, capability it's very important uh, step so this is digital archive I uh, should say that we keep a searchable digital archive for users and uh, no need to spend time searching for documents uh, and uh, your document never will be lost and you can search it by a lot of different parameters uh, and it takes just a second and it's very uh, important because just imagine situation if your customer or maybe auditor uh, request you about some documents uh, which you worked with a long time ago for example eight months ago so with Intera uh, you can search it by period of time for example or by the name of uh, the customer or supplier so and you will find it very easily 
it will take just a couple of seconds and you can download it in different formats or you can download the list of documents in original format as pdf uh, format or in excel format so very easy uh, to work with it okay so i think it's time to switch to demo and uh, i will be happy to show our uh, latest version and uh, you will uh, see yes how it works uh, in action okay i will switch to my another desktop and uh, we will start okay <clears throat> By the way, if you have any questions, yes, uh, you can uh, uh, ask me a little bit later because we will have with you the special uh, Q&A section in the end of presentation. Yes, and I will be happy to answer all your questions which you uh, write in chat. Okay, so first of all, uh, right now uh, you see uh, web user interface of Entera. So you see different folders and you can create any number of folders yes just need to specify the name of folder uh, what is the reason to have this folder uh, there are two main reasons uh, the first reason uh, is designated for uh, teamwork yes and you can share access for uh, each folder with your team or with a customer uh, supplier and any uh, third party uh, company if you want it's very easy to do it yes you just need to click invite users specify email specify folder and the person uh, will uh, receive uh, the letter with password and login yes and uh, we'll be able to uh, upload documents directly to this uh, folder and surely you can manage this success so if you would like to uh, decline it or stop it so you can do it very easily and uh, the second reason uh, is about uh, integration part because you can connect each folder uh, for example it can be your particular customer and you can connect it uh, with a particular customer under your accounting software or for example if you work with different instances of tally and may, maybe with uh, other accounting softwares maybe with zoho so you can uh, connect each particular folder with particular accounting software or particular customer under your accounting software and uh, you will uh, stay in one uh, space yes you can work with Intera from one space with uh, all your customers and uh, all your accounting softwares so let's open uh, one of the folder yes this is the name of folder tally Kirill so I use it for uh, demo purposes and uh, right now you see the list of documents with different parameters so you see there is a customer name supplier name document type document number a lot of different and uh, you can manage it yes you can show some information you can hide some information for example i can add some uh, information about gstin for customer for supplier or i can hide it okay so and also at the top of the screen uh, there is a main menu yes and you see this is uh, information about my account and i can by the way i can switch uh, through the different folders yes and also information about my account about my balance uh, and uh, also there is a button connect so i can click on this and uh, in this menu uh, you will see the all uh, available uh, application yes and uh, which is available for integration so you see this is uh, Zoho books QuickBooks and Tally so for now my folder connected with uh, Tally it means that I can transfer data automatically from this folder from uh, online service of Intera to uh, my Tally which installed in laptop or uh, in cloud okay so let's return back and let's upload some new documents so how can uh, how i can upload the documents so it's mentioned there are different ways and for now uh, we will use a uh, web user interface there is a button upload documents i just need to click on this yes click upload documents so uh, you see the uh, window and we can uh, choose select documents to upload just a second okay great so for example we would like to upload one of invoice okay perfect 
we choose it and click send for recognition. Okay, so uh, the document was sent. But also, if we would like to upload many documents, surely we can choose with you not only one, but all documents. Yes, 100 documents uh, at the same time. Okay, and click send for recognition. Okay, perfect. If we open the section loaded, so we see our document, which we uh, uploaded with you. Yes, and, uh, you know, speaking about uploading. Uh, the most efficient way when you upload a lot of documents at once. Because uh, Intera uh, provides multi-flow architecture and it started to work with all documents simultaneously. Yes, sure, you can do it one by one. But in such case, you need to wait a little bit because there is a uh, response time. Yes, about maybe sometimes it can be 10 seconds. Yes, sometimes it can be a couple of minutes. It depends of uh, depends on a format of documents. If this is the new format, so it will take a little bit more time. If this is similar format, which you already used uh, with Intera, in such case, Intera will work faster because we use machine learning. Yes, and each time it will work faster, faster and faster. So uh, also, uh, okay. By the way, I think it's already done because I see the documents in completed section. Yeah, so it's done. And uh, you know uh, why I mentioned about the mass uploading? Yes, because this is the most efficient way. Just imagine situation. Yes, uh, you come to the office. Yes, and you have 200 documents. Perfect. You can select all of these, upload it to Intera all at once. Then you will do your other business needs. Yes, and in half an hour, you will return to Intera and see result for all of your documents. So this is uh, the most uh, efficient and uh, time uh, saving uh, strategy. Okay, what we see, Intera recognized our documents. So let's open some of them. For example, let's uh, take the first one. Okay, so there is a button show scan. Yes, and on the right side, uh, you see original document, which I uploaded. And on the left side, you see result of recognition. So at the top of the screen, there is general information like document number, document date, customer name, supplier name. Also, we uh, recognize GSTIN automatically and currency. So below, you see all details about line items. We recognized uh, the name of item, units, quantity, price per uh, unit, amount per item, all information about what. So you see this is the double what. So uh, this is CGST and SGST uh, by 9%. And surely total amount and total what amount. And we can check accuracy very easily. So you can zoom, you can zoom in, zoom out. Okay, so the invoice number, it's correct, 380, date. I think, yes, it's correct. Uh, we use uh, Tentera uh, other uh, format for dates, but when we transfer it to Tally, we convert it accordingly. Okay, and uh, the name of supplier looks good. So the name of customer, chemicals and associates, so looks good. Perfect. So the name of line items, air filter size, so yes, looks good. Okay, the price rate looks good and total amount, it's okay. And uh, information about what? About uh, GST, sorry, yes, it's okay. Perfect. Okay, and uh, you know, for now, I open this uh, document and check it carefully. But I would like to underline, you don't need to do it each time. Yes, because this is, uh, for now, this is just for your understanding because uh, we propose unique functionality. Yes, and what is what is the uniqueness? Yeah, the uniqueness is uh, accuracy rate because this is 98%. It's higher than manual approach and much higher than any other uh, application. So, and uh, it allows you to uh, do mass uploading with Intera because you don't need to uh, check each document uh, yeah, you know, and uh, you don't need to open each document to check numbers, to check letters, or total amounts, and so on. So Intera will do it automatically. Yes, and uh, based on this uh, highest accuracy, yes, you can use this mass uploading. If you have your thousand documents, just upload it to Intera. Yes, and then you will see it in your accounting software. If there is some issues or errors, 
Sure, potentially it can be, but uh, we have some mechanism to inform you about this. For example, if there is no uh, readable information, yes, maybe it's not possible to read information about, I don't know, tax rate, yes, or maybe some uh, information about uh, uh, one of item. In such case, uh, it will be empty space and colored by, uh, and sorry, and uh, highlighted by a red color. Yes, and uh, when you will transfer data to your accounting software, so uh, Intera will inform you. So there is a mistake. Uh, you need to pay your attention and uh, check it. And surely, for example, you can do some corrections. Yes, you can click on the field. Yes, and uh, make these corrections manually if you want. Yes, or if you want, you can uh, change some information about taxes, for example, and so on. Different options. And uh, surely you can uh, use our support. Just click on this. Yes, and send information to us. For example, uh, please uh, correct the name of item one. Yes, and our support uh, will respond in uh, uh, 15 minutes or within 15 minutes. And also you can use uh, email or uh, WhatsApp request. Okay, so what is the next step? So for now, uh, we uh, discuss with you how we work with documents. So we recognize all of this very carefully. But what is the next step? I think the next step, this is the most important. Yes, because uh, you don't need to have these documents at Entera. You would like to see result in your tally. And let's speak about this. So for example, let's choose this documents. Okay, three documents, first three documents. Then I just need to click export to external system. And uh, now you see uh, the matching menu. And on the left side, you see result of recognition. Yes, like this, for example, information about invoice, information about supplier, about customer, and so on, about item. On the right side, you see information from my tally. Yes, because I can click on category, for example, and I see the list of options for the category. This is a ledger which I uploaded from Tally automatically. And also, if I click on icon, I can see original invoice. So what is the main idea? Main idea uh, that we uh, collect all information sources on the one screen. So left side, result of recognition, which we capture from document. Right side, uh, about your tally. Yes, and we upload all options from tally. And below, we see original document. If we want, surely. Because uh, how it works. Yeah, for example, let's uh, fill in the first document. So I just need to... Uh, choose the type of uh, voucher. For example, if I work only with accounting, so it can be uh, not inventory, just uh, purchase. Okay, the category can be materials. Okay, so the next one the same. For example, it can be, I don't know, textile. So the next one, it can be some services. So that's all. Uh, for example, I would like to check some information. Perfect. I can cl click on the icon. Yes, and uh, check the, the name of item, for example. Okay. So, servicing of security. Okay, so everything is okay. Perfect. I close it. And, uh, you know, for now, it looks like that I need to do some manual actions. But I would like to pay your attention that uh, it's only for first time. So, because uh, next time, Intera will recommend you the most suitable option. And uh, we provide predictable functionality. So Intera will uh, understand what is the most suitable option for you. For example, for current invoice uh, and current uh, type of uh, voucher. Yes, and uh, uh, also Intera will save information about your uh, actions. Yes, and uh, we uh, will understand the logic, how each a ledger connected with the name of supplier, for example. Yes, and next time uh, we'll f uh, fill in uh, these fields automatically for you. So, and uh, as a result, you just need to brief, uh, to, to have a brief review. Yes, and if you need to 
change something yes you can do it very uh, quickly yes and then you need to click create documents so let's click on this okay so you see the status for these three documents uh, was changed now this is pending 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 okay it means that Intera is transferring data to tally so for now let's open my tally okay so this is my tally and uh, so the current period is okay so I use uh, educational mode so and sometimes uh, it can be some limitation but for now I think everything is okay okay so let's open the book so let's open the date for all his history so no any invoices for now great also we have such application this is kind of connector uh, which connect uh, my uh, tally which installed on premise with online service in Terra I just need to click get docs perfect so this is a small notification uh, and uh, if there is some errors yes for example you can uh, try to send duplicated information so in such case uh, Intera will uh, notify you that something wrong please pay your attention so for now everything is okay great so let's open our tally and check it again okay so let's choose the date perfect yeah this is our three invoices which we sent with you uh, previously okay so let's open for example our invoice which we uh, looked through uh, before Trijama filter all okay so what we see so this is uh, name of invoice so number of invoice the date uh, Trijama filter all so looks good so CGST as GST all details is here a ledger by the way which category is here so total amount all details yes we transfer all of this okay so this is how it works for accounting purposes because you see there is no information about line item yes uh, okay we recognize it but we just mentioned it uh, in the comments so but what we can propose for inventory let me show you For example, let's uh, choose another invoice. For example, this one. Okay, so I s it seems this is some typical invoice. Yes, with uh, CGST, SGST. Okay, so I see three line items. Okay, great. Never mind. So let's select it. Click Export to External System. So, and uh, now let's choose another type of voucher. So it can be inventory. Okay, so let's, for example, choose maybe some other categories. Okay, mobile. Okay, perfect. So, mobile. So, mobile. Uh, you see some of. Uh, fields is already uh, filled in uh, with the word of computers yeah this is the category which I uh, used uh, before and the system uh, automatically filled in yes and uh, this, this is uh, this is what I um, told you before yes that uh, we uh, save the uh, uh, history yes and we use it for a predictable model to uh, fill in all information uh, automatically and you don't need to uh, do it manually each time okay so I uh, choose some uh, items yes and uh, for now I just need to click uh, and and once again you know uh, just for, for your understanding what I did so this item mobile it's not item from Intera so this is item from item list uh, from my tally yes for a stock counting yes for inventory process okay now I just need to click create documents okay so close it 
Okay, so I see the state is pending. Just a second. Ah, okay, okay, I understand. So, I see, ah, okay, sorry, it seems, I can see your tally, oh, sorry, 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 this is a problem, okay, just a second, I will try to share it again, just a second, sorry for this, okay, yes, yeah, sorry, <laughs> because yes, I, I, I try to uh, go on, so let, let's, do, let's do this again, sorry for this moment, okay, okay, Stop sharing and I will try to share it again. Just a second. Okay. So. So do you see my tally? Okay, perfect. So yeah, sorry. Sorry for this. Okay, so in such case, we need to uh, uh, <laughs> we need to repeat uh, this test, but uh, I will try to do it quickly. Okay, just a second. So let's. Um, okay, by the way, let's get the docs. Okay, and then we will repeat the same with you again. Okay, so. Okay, so for now I delete all documents, yes, from my tally. So you see there is no any documents in tally, yes. Is it visible for you? Do you see tally, yes? Could you please confirm? Okay, perfect. So for now you see there is no any documents in my tally. Okay, so let's open Intera again so i will delete all these invoices yes and we uh, will upload it again but uh, very fastly because i guess uh, intera uh, was visible for you yes and you already uh, understood uh, what happened okay so let's delete all of these uh, invoices okay so let's upload it again Okay, so this one for uh, inventory, for example. Okay, so and uh, let's also upload some other invoices. Yes, which we worked before. Okay, maybe this one. So uh, I choose the, the one for inventory because there are some different items. Yes, and it will be more uh, interesting for you because uh, other invoices has only one item, so it's not so interesting. Uh, okay, so just a second. Let's wait a little bit while uh, Intera uh, recognize the documents. So I think it will take not so much time because this is a similar format. Yes, and uh, maybe it will take just 10 seconds or something like this. By the way, uh, while we are waiting recognition, I would like to uh, mention about uh, the document story. Yes, uh, because Intera store all of information which you upload to Intera. Surely this is option. If you would like to delete all of this, uh, we can delete it once the document uh, was transferred to your tally. But if you would like to use this storage, it can be very useful for you because there is a smart filter. Yes, and you can find your documents by you can search your documents by a lot of different parameters. For example, document date to and document date from. Yes, you can choose the dates, for example. Okay. And this one. Okay. And just need to apply filter. So you see the list for all of these documents. Then you can select it. Yes, and you can download it as archive or in Excel format with items, without items, in different views, so very easily. Or you can download it, each document also as PDF or as original document. Okay, so it seems 
it seems it's done. Okay, so this is our documents, just a second. So let's do the same, but very quickly because <laughs> I do it again, sorry for this. So what I need to do, once again, I select these three documents. Yes, very easily. Uh, okay, for example, maybe, uh, yes, let's upload these three ones. So the first uh, documents we will, uh, uh, we will uh, transfer for inventory purposes. Okay, so let's click export external system. Okay, great. So we need to choose their ledgers. Okay. Oh, sorry, it can be textile. Okay, and uh, services. Perfect. So create documents. Close the status pending pending. Okay, so open our connector, click get docs. Perfect, we transfer data, so let's open tally. I hope you see my tally now. Okay, and uh, let's open day books. Refresh the date. So this is our three uh, invoices, yes, which we uh, transferred. So let's open one of that. So you see, uh, we transfer data about uh, the invoice, all general information like uh, invoice number, the date, so the name of uh, supplier, so all of these details. Yes, information about uh, the taxes, yes, about the ledger, but very important moment. This is a voucher for accounting purposes. Yes, because we recognized item, but we put this information just like a comment. So, and let's speak about the matching for items. So for such purpose, I especially prepared this invoice because it has several items. So let's select it and uh, click export to external system. So we choose, okay, the inventory. Yes, and uh, okay, oh, by the way, uh, do you remember uh, previously I specified mobile? Yes, mobile, this is uh, item. Yes, which is available in my tally. So, and you see in Terra uh, fill, uh, filled in uh, automatically, mobile. Okay, great. So now let's click create documents. Perfect. So the status is pending. Once again, open our connector, click get docs. Perfect, transfer data about it. So, and let's check the tally. Okay, the date. Okay, this is our invoice. So you see, this is how it works. So all items was transferred. So mobile, mobile, mobile. So with quantity, with uh, rate, yes, with uh, amount, with all details about uh, taxes, and uh, with the total amount, surely. So. I think if you have a question, we will discuss it uh, later in the end of uh, this webinar. And I think, yes, it's time to move forward. And uh, once again, sorry for some delay from my side. Yes, because uh, I didn't see that uh, you couldn't uh, see my screen. Sorry for this. Uh, okay, so let's uh, return to, to the slides. Okay, just a second. Yeah, okay. So also I would like to share with you some information uh, about our use case, very typical use case and how we usually work with uh, uh, our uh, customers. Yes, and uh, it's very remarkable use case. Yes, because uh, this is uh, the company, uh, the name of company BDO. Yes, and this is a large uh, international public accounting and advisory company. 
Yes, and uh, in the beginning, uh, they came to us with request to uh, get rid the manual work uh, with incoming documents. Yes, and they uh, wanted to increase the speed of document processing, and uh, also they wanted a lot to classify the documents because they have a lot of different formats of documents. So uh, we uh, connected them to uh, Entera. Yes, and uh, in result, we improved the speed of work with documents in eight times. Plus, we uh, provide no human errors operation. Yes, we classify all uh, documents, yes, which they have. And, uh, you know, in conclusion, uh, we provide cost uh, saving more than three times. So this is really very, very successful uh, project uh, for both of us. And also, I would like just... Uh, uh, recap on main points, yes, and uh, why we uh, believe that uh, Intera uh, can be efficient for you, yes, and can be suitable. And uh, I just would like to share with you that Intera are a global company, yes, and we are IT company, software development company, and we operate in more than 5,000 companies with Intera uh, around the world, yes, and we have five years of successful experience uh totally uh, we is, we work with uh you know 18 million pages you know i think for for now it's more than 20 millions and also we processed uh 500 000 new pages per month yes and we have the huge experience because we uh worked with different segment of market with uh, in different countries for example we work successfully in uae in saudi arabia in some european countries for now also we work in india so a lot of a lot of different experience and we work with accounting firm we work with construction company with logistics company retail trading so uh we have a uh, very experienced uh, staff who knows a lot about uh, technical side of accounting and about uh, IT surely. And uh, also, uh, I just would like to highlight uh, the main benefits of Intera. Yes, and uh, first of all, uh, it should be uh, speed. Yes, because the Intera, this is a very fast solution and uh, our solution allows you to do routine document workflow in 10 times uh, faster than manual approach. Yes, and uh, the next one, accuracy, because Intera allows to avoid errors caused by human factor. Uh, reliability, yes, because uh, we have successful history of the projects. Yes, we have a lot of references and our reliability is proven by our customers. And the uh, last one, this is flexibility. Yes, because this is cloud-based solution, which works uh, using software as a service model, and it allows the customer to have very flexible approach. So you don't need to have your infrastructure or uh, your system software, hardware, and uh, spend time for implementation process. So you just need to purchase subscription. You can always stop it. You can always resume it uh, very easily to uh, start. And, uh, you know, uh, we believe that such combination of uh, properties uh, makes Intera very efficient uh, to optimize routine uh, work with document processing and also uh, avoid the errors. And uh, surely I need to mention uh, about the pricing. Yes, and uh, as mentioned, we work uh, using software as a service model. Yes, and we propose uh, annual uh, subscription, which includes four options. Yes, and uh, the difference only one, this is a limitation of pages. Yes, for example, uh, business plus subscription, sorry, business premium subscription includes 32,000 pages. So uh, business subscription includes 16,000 pro 8,000 basic 4,000 per year. Okay, and speaking about functionality, so for such uh, business model, uh, we have unlimited number of uh, users, unlimited uh, number of clients, seamless integration with accounting software. I think it's very important part, yes, because we have integration which is already out of the box. So, and the processing of uh, setting up is very easy. And uh, for now, we provide also unlimited cloud storage for our customers and uh, light item extraction. So you can work with uh, inventory if you have your invoices with a lot of line items. So uh, it will be uh, especially efficient for you. Okay, and surely technical support. Yeah, uh, we provide three lines of technical support, 24 hours, seven days. And uh, you know, and uh, 
in the end also I would like to tell you that uh, we propose to all participants uh, to register uh, for uh, Intera free trial. Yeah, this is uh, for one month. Yes, and uh, you can uh, scan this QR code. Yes, and you will see uh, the form. So with help of this form, you uh, can register your uh, request. Yes, and our specialists will be happy to contact you and start a free trial for you. We will be happy to uh, assist you to connect your uh, Intera account with your tally. So you will be able to test it. So you will be able to upload your documents. Yes, maybe you will have some other suggestions or ideas. So we will be happy if you uh, share it with us. And a uh, couple of months. Oh, by the way, yes, please uh, pay attention to chat. Yes, and uh, my colleagues uh, shared information also like a link uh, in chat. So you can use this link or you can use a QR code. OK, also let's speak about the setting up process. Uh, it's very easy. Yes, and uh, we have only three steps. And uh, first of all, we agree the number of pages with you and uh, we will send the invoice uh, to you uh, to get in a payment. Yes, for subscription. So next part, this is set, uh, setting up. Yes, we will register your entire account and uh, we will support you to set up integration with your accounting software. But once again, as mentioned, it's out of the box solution. Yes, and it will take just maybe uh, 10 minutes, something like this. And uh, the last step, uh, you can start. Yes, you can start and enjoy. So you will work faster and more accurate with your documents. And we will be happy to support you if you have any uh, request. Uh, OK, and uh, you know, also in the end, I would like to tell you that uh, surely uh, we understand that uh, it's easy to say uh, than to do uh, implementing some advanced changes yes in your business process so and uh, based on our experience 94% uh, of management focused on routine uh, daily workflow and uh, they um, cannot change it uh, to get more progress so because they focused on uh, usual uh, work and it takes a lot of time uh, but at the same time you know we believe it's not you so you know this is uh like our uh, suggestion yeah let's keep uh, to be flexible yes and uh, let's uh, keep to be open to progress to do our business efficient yes and uh, to do it more profitable yes and in general our life will be more uh, comfortable in such case uh okay so um also, you know, uh, I just would like to add that uh, I will be happy to have personal workshop with you. Yes, and uh, we will be happy to meet with you online and show how it works, including integration with your accounting software and uh, upload to your uh, invoices and other documents. So uh, once again, uh, please uh, go to uh, our form to the QR code or uh, through the link. Yes, and uh, please register for a free uh, trial months. Yes, and we will be happy to contact you and uh, start uh, our cooperation. So I think I think I will show this slide for you. Yes, with the QR code. Yes, if you would like to scan it, you can do it very easily. And also let's switch to the question. Just a second. OK. So let's start to check your question. Just a second. I will try. So by the way, if you have some questions, please uh, uh, write it in chat. Yes, and I will be happy to answer. Because for now, I see only messages. Yes, about uh, our webinar process, but no any questions. So maybe about technical part. So uh, isn't there a cable of posting inventory records? Uh, I think yes. Uh, and uh, 
but but it depends maybe if you can be more specific it will be great because uh, as i uh, shared with you previously yes uh, we can work with uh, inventory yes we match uh, items yes we recognize all details and we transfer this data to uh, your tally so i guess the next uh, processes connected with your tally so for example if you uh, use some reports Yes, for your items, uh, I think you have a uh, relevant settings and uh, surely you will see all of this information to your tally. Yes, yes, I understand. Yes, capable, surely. So I, I hope I answered. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, technically, yes, but we need to uh, know more specific. Uh, yes about your question yes about your task so because once again what we uh, propose we recognize all details about lie items from your uh, invoices then we transfer it accordingly to your tally we match it with your list of items and then you can use it uh, for all your reports okay just a second also what I have seen the GST tax ledger are specific to tax yes it's true is it possible that we can post all tax related interest into single ledger uh, you know i think technically maybe in next step it's possible but for now we have integration in such way so but it's not so difficult yes you just need to create it once yes and uh, you will have uh, the different ledgers for uh, cgst and sgst and igst accordingly with tax rate and then uh, Intera will uh, transfer all data uh, automatically, yes, through these uh, ledgers. Um, so uh, maybe if you can share with us why it's important for you to keep such structure only, uh, for example, only one ledger without any uh, tax rates, so we will understand it better, yes, and I think we can include it in next update. Ah, so I see. Yes, this is general practice. Yes, uh, you don't create tax rate uh, for each ledger, but you know, it, okay, partly, partly, I agree with you. Yes, because uh, you are a practice accountant. Yes, and you know better. But at the same time, based on our practice, we uh, meet with a lot of customers in India. Yes, and uh, many of them use different ledgers. So I think uh, this is 50-50, uh, maybe something like this. Ah, okay, I see. We used to create the tax rate wise, okay. By the way, Pratik, maybe uh, we can meet with you online, yes, and if you share with us uh, your use case, maybe you can share your tally, yes, and uh, show us how you work with uh, uh, GST yes and uh, in such case we will uh, be happy to update our integration to provide uh, such options for you because once again technically it's not a problem yes we just need to include uh, this update uh, these changes in uh, these improvements in the next update yes and such option will be available for you for now it works with different ledgers uh, uh, in accordance with the tax rate but yes, I agree with you. So the, if this is the common practice, I think uh, we will do such improvements uh, in next update of our system. Oh, okay, you already had a demo with Kate, perfect. So you found multiple improvements required before. We go with Spets, so it's perfect. So I, I'm, I'm happy to uh, to read it. Yes, please contact to, with Kate. Yes, and uh, I hope everything will, uh, will be fine. And uh, we are always ready to provide uh, all assistance, yes, and all uh, support uh, for you, for your team. So uh, if there is some other questions, please ask. I will be happy to answer. I think uh, we have about a minute. So uh, we have some time for uh, questions. So I see that uh, somebody is typing the question. So let's wait a little bit. Uh, 
Okay, if there is any plan for Excel data import. Uh, you know, speaking about the wor work with Excel, uh, for now, sure, we can export data in Excel format with items, without items. So, and I can uh, show you very easily. But at the same time, speaking about the importing data, yes, it's possible. So, if you have your invoice uh, in Excel format, we can do it. But once again, it depends on uh, format of your uh, Excel table. So maybe if you have some uh, a list of different invoices in some specific formats, so uh, in such case we need to update uh, our mechanism to upload data. If there is uh, the typical invoice, surely yes, we can work with it uh, and we work with Excel format very well. Okay, how long we can expect it to take bank statement? Oh, very good question. Bank statements, yes. So speaking about bank statements, uh, we hope it will be ready uh, in the end of May. Yes, but we will see. So how it works usually? We work uh, based on monthly basis. Yes, and each month uh, we uh, provide the new update. So as a user, you don't need to do something with it. Uh, I just will inform you or some of our, my colleague will inform you. So uh, uh, particularly there is a new update and there is new functionality. Just refresh the page and uh, you will be able to use it. And each month uh, we uh, released such uh, update. Yes, and uh, we have the list of improvements for each update. Yes, and uh, we include it uh, in uh, each update for months. So, for example, for now you shared with me the information about the one ledger uh, re regardless uh, uh, tax rates. Yes, and uh, I think we will discuss it internally and maybe we will include it in next uh, update. For bank statements, we already uh, work on it. Yes, but this is uh, under the process. So by the way, uh, if you can meet with us and uh, show us how you work with bank statements, so I think uh, it will be a great idea. So please contact with uh, Kate. Yes, and we will understand better uh, your business processes and uh, uh, we will do our integration more specific and uh, more uh, suitable for your uh, business needs. Okay, so uh, I think it's time to uh, finish uh, our webinar. Yes, and uh, it seems I answered all questions. Yes, I looked through the chat, so I don't see something new. Okay, anyway, you know, uh, you can always request us, yes, and meet with us uh, online, and we will be happy to answer all your questions, show how it works, and provide a trial period for you. Just let us know. So, thank you so much for your attention. Yes, and uh, I was happy to conduct this webinar for you. So you are amazing audience. Yes, and uh, I'm happy to work uh, with it. So thank you so much. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.